First Lady Billy Ray had said, let's do a display of First Ladies of Iowa and place them in a case in the Capitol to recognize those ladies as a bicentennial project. was done with historical research through our department and also with a fashion historian. If you look at the history of the dresses, you will see from the 1840s where the skirts were fairly simple and straight lined to the 1860s where you start getting a wider, uh, larger uh, hoop skirt style of dress. Then to the 1920s where you see a skirt that might actually creep to near the knee or even above the knee. Uh, then into the 1950s again where you kind of have that Mad Men look, though still high style or stylish dress. So you can get a, a good look of uh, change of fashion style over time. It's a monumental thing for the state of Iowa. From the first days of Iowa until 2017, we always had a male governor and as a result of first lady. So uh, Kim Reynolds became the first governor in 2017 and now we have a first spouse. It's been a bit of fun and it, because it is a novelty and uh, being the first man in the case and really a man having a doll made of yourself. So um, we've had a little bit of fun with it and he's been a, such a good sport and his reaction was just put a G.I. Joe doll in there. That's good enough. I don't think he had a choice. <laughs> There is a lot of interest in it, but now it's just the realization that oh, there is a woman, why is there a man in here? And the kids realize, oh, there is a woman governor. And just that alone has been, they said there have been a lot of reaction to that and a lot of kids talking about that, which is a wonderful thing. Hey, Dateline fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on the button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch digital exclusives and original content from the creators of Dateline.